Good evening, viewers. Welcome to our journey math class. Today, I will be taking you down to how to find the square root of large numbers mentally. Before we proceed, there is a need for us to revise the values of the perfect squares of numbers. If we have one square, okay, you agree with me that one square is one, okay. 2 square is 4, 3 square is 9, 4 square is 16, 5 square is 25, 6 square is 36, 7 square is 49, 8 square is 64, 9 square is 81, 10 square is 100 okay by proceeding we have that 11 square is 121 12 square is 144 13 square is 169 14 square this gives 196 15 square gives us 225 16 square gives us 256 17 square gives us 289 18 square gives us 324 19 square equal 361 and 20 square equal 400 now there are some basic things that we really need to know before we proceed if you look at the values that have one as the last digit we can see 1 81 121 and 361 here we see that one one so the perfect square of one and nine has what one as the remainder so anything that has um that ends with one the as one and nine will surely have this remainder you can see we have one and nine here we have 11 and 19. so the combination of these two will surely give one as the remainder just like we see here the same thing with four looking at this here we have four we have four so that means the perfect squares are 2 and 8. So the combination of this, anytime you have this, you surely have 4 as the remainder. So we have 2 here. Anytime you have this as the last digit, 4 will be your value. Okay? 4 will be the last digit. Okay? So any anytime you're having, look at this. Now we have 2 squared. Give, this gives us 4. A squared gives 64. Just like we have... 12 this ends with 2 as well we, we have 4 as the value and the same thing with this it has what 4 as the last digit the same thing with 9 okay and 49 so the combination of 3 so 3 square will surely give what 9 7 square gives 49 so anytime you are having this as the last digit either 3 or 7 okay the value the perfect value will be what we end with what nine just like the case of this we have 17 it ends with what nine we have 13 it also ends with what nine okay the same thing with um 16 okay this end with six okay and this end with six so anytime we have a perfect square ending with four or six the digit, the last digit, will also end with what? 6. Just the case of 14 and 16. You can see that it ended with 6. And the same thing with 5, okay? It's only 5 that has that. We have only this 5 and 15. So that is just the first part of it that we need to know. Now we are moving to multiplication of large numbers. Uh, sorry, the square root of large numbers. How can we get that mentally? Follow me. Now, this is our first example. We are given the square root of 1,156, and we would like to do this. Now, we are going to look for numbers that has 
six as the remainder okay um that such that when we square it it has six so from the previous example given to us we only know that is four square and six square that can give that this is going to give what 16 and this gives what 36 so we deal with four sorry we deal with four or six okay that means this is going to end with either four or what six now secondly we have 11 okay we have 11 and um 11 shows that representing perfect squares that falls between the range of 11 we only have what we have three square which is nine and we have what four square which is 16. that means 11 is between 9 and 16. these are the closest perfect squares that we have so this shows that the value is between 3 and 6 and we pick the one that is smaller to the 11 okay so which is 9 we are picking this 9 so and the value is what 3 so here we have 34 here we have 36 and the question is this which one are we going to choose as our answer is it 34 or is it 36 now doing that we have that um 30 square is 900 and we have that 40 square is what 1600 now looking at this here we have 900 here we have 1600 okay which one is closer to 1156 you will agree with me that 30 is closer to 1156 so therefore we pick this okay the square root of this is 34 if the value of this is closer to 1600 then we pick the value that is closer to 40 which is 36 but in this case it is what the value is closer to 900 compared with 1600 so we pick the value that is closer to 30 which is what 34 yes in this example we are going to look at the square root of 4489 the first thing we do here is that we look for perfect squares that has values that ends with 9 and here we agree with me that we have 3 square which is equals to 9 and also we have what we have um, 7 square which is equals to what 49 these are the values that have these are the perfect squares that have values that ends with 9 so it's either we pick 3 or 7 okay what about the first digit now here we agree with me that here we are having 4489 so we look at tens of perfect squares that falls within this range and um, the value of this fall between 3600 which is three square root of 3600 or we have 4900 okay and the square root of this gives what 60 while the square root of this gives what 70 okay the square root of this gives 70 now in this case now we pick the smaller value which is what 60 and we start with 6 so here we are going to have 63 or 67 now the question is which one is it 63 or 67 which one are we picking now from this we have we've already known that um from this we have that the value given to us is 4489 and we ask ourselves 4489 is it closer to 3600 or closer to 4900 i'm very sure that you agree with me that it is closer to what 4900 so we pick the value that is closer to 70 and from here we can see that this one is closer to 60 
okay why this is closer to 70 so finally our answer is 67 so with this this is the short method of um, finding the square root of numbers without using calculator so thank you very much for watching our youtube channel see you in next video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thank you